I am S.D. Chiring. I retired three years back as a secretary come uh, DG of DESMI. I was a member of the Indian Economic Service. I served around uh, three ministries in the uh, central government and then came on deputation to government of Sikkim and also served two, three departments in uh, the Sikkim government before I retired. Uh, since uh, this interview has given me an opportunity to give my opinion and suggestions on the working of the government and on the various aspects of the uh, government, I would uh, like to offer some of my views and suggestions on the economic scenario which is now prevailing due to this pandemic period. I would like to uh, first uh, give a little bit clarifications on the uh, indicators which are used to see how the economic scenario is. And the best indicator which uh, is used internationally is the GSDP. Now what this GSDP is, I would like to uh, give a little bit of more clarification. GSDP is one economic indicator which uh, gives an overall view of the economy as it is prevailing. When you hear the GSDP number, you can actually say whether economy is doing well or not doing well. What I want to explain to the public and to everyone is the GSDP number which is uh, calculated is based on certain parameters and formulas. You cannot manipulate the GSDP numbers. There's a wrong notion among, among the people saying that GSDP can be either raised or lowered as per the wishes of the government, but this is not true. The GSDP uh, calculation is based on parameters and rules laid down by the Government of India Department of Statistics. Having a high GSDP number gives the state government a better, better opportunity to, to get more loans from the market. And it also indicates that the uh, state government economy is doing very well. Since I am an economist, there's a lot of things which can be discussed or which I would like to suggest. Now in this pandemic area, I would like to concentrate on tourism because this is one sector which has been uh, really hit by this uh, COVID-19 uh, and it's one sector which has been affected all over the world. Not only in India, all over the world this sector has been very much affected. So I would really wanted to discuss a little bit and uh, see it from a very economist point of view, how it has affected uh, the tourism sector. Our tourism sector contributes about 9% to the GSDP. And if you go into detail, you see we have around 423 hotels. 638 homestays. We have about 1,422 travel agents and we have around 12,269 taxis. All these have been very much affected by this closure of uh, tourism sector in the state government. Now, this sector has a very great uh, contribution to the state economy, not only through revenue, but through the employment sector. Now, if you see, due to this pandemic, we are facing a loss of over 700 crores due to the closure of this uh, sector. Now, this sector will take a very long time to revive as is seen all over the world. And it's going to take a lot of effort from both the state government and from the private operators also to revive this uh, tourism sector. The tourism sector, if you see in detail how it is affected the state is, first, it has been affected through employment. We have over around uh, more than 6,000 travel agents and more than 15,000 people working in the hotel industry and more than 12,000 people working as taxi drivers. All these people have been affected since the hotels have closed out, taxis have stopped operating 
and there's no tourists coming, so all the tour operators have also closed. Now, because of this, all of them have been unemployed. Now, it is high time that the government has to come and make a serious tourism plan for Sikkim. Now, the pandemic uh, period has shown that Without proper tourism plan, the revival of tourism sector is going to be very, very difficult. It is high time that the government make up a proper tourism plan, make up a proper marketing strategy where we market our state and help the local hotel owners to attract our tourists. And it's also high time now that we have to tell our younger generations that employment is not only in the government, now you have to take up employment in the private sector, like the hotel industries, like the tourism sector, where there's a lot of opportunity. Now for that, we need trained manpower. To encourage youths to go into tourism, it is necessary that we have them all trained. And there's more attention to be given. More funds have to be given to that institute so that they get better teachers, better lecturers, better training facilities so that our local youths also get interested to go for training there. Then the other thing is now the government will have to pay great attention to the marketing of the tourism sector in Sikkim. We'll have to pay extra attention to sanitization and cleanliness in the tourism areas like Peling, Songu, Lache Lachung. All these areas now they have to be given special attention, especially in sanitization and cleanliness. Now, a very big investment have to be made into the infrastructure, like power, water, roads, if the tourism sector has to be revived. If these are not done, then Sikkim will have a very, very tough time reviving the tourism sector, because this tourism sector now will have to face a lot of competition from other states also. Because once this lockdown uh, is opened all over the country, there's going to be a very stiff competition among all the uh, state governments to attract uh, tourists. So now Sikkim has to be fully prepared from the other states in attracting tourism. I would like to thank the IPR department for giving me opportunity to appear for an interview in your web portal.